So within the database, I will start from scratch. Yes, I don't really care. Uh, you will need to copy this. This is the link we use to apply a creature script for a newly generated creature. How do we actually implement it in the game? We go into HadeSQL. We open up the database, world database, and we go into uh, a table called creature template. Now, within creature template, I don't care about so many of you. Why are you even here? No, no, no. Just close everything. It should not appear on your... Uh, Yes, bye-bye. Okay, we go into creature template. Uh, creature template as it stands right now. We go into data and we press, uh, we can press show all, but the, uh, the purpose is very similar to as if we don't need to show every single bit of information. The uh, the reason we have show all is because by default it shows only a limited I think a thousand rows and as you can see each row here is packed with information so to save on uh, loading time of the interface which is what Hey uh, SQL is it's a database interface program uh, it simply shows the first one thousand. Um, I usually scroll down because this is where I check the latest creature ID I can use and I simply add a new row. Now to do that I press the down arrow, arrow key and I usually start with 90,000. So that is done. Um, difficulty that we will skip all of those. What we need is model ID, which is where that one comes in useful. 169, it is basically what the morph of the creature is. Uh, we will give it a name, we will call it server lens npc1. Uh, Subname will be server lens. This is basically the subtitle of the npc. Uh, min level give it one max level give it one it will be a level one NPC this is how we actually range the NPCs it will randomly select this is basically min and max values and it randomly uh, selects whatever we want now faction we want it to be 35 35 because that is friendly uh, NPC flag we need it to be one because we want it to be gossip and then we skip all the way till the end. Now, in the end, in here, we see script name. Script name will be what we just copied. Serverlands script one, Serverlands NPC one. Like that. So after that is done, to save it, we simply click this button right there, post or we can just press the up arrow and it will work as if we automatically confirmed it. Uh, at the lower bottom of this uh, screen, you can see the insert command that I actually had, uh, just that I just uh, inserted by default, just simply by using the, the interface. Instead of writing all of this manually, I did this and it posted it as if I wrote this entire query by myself. So that is extremely useful, saves a lot of time, but let's assume you want to add 15 NPCs. Doing all of this like that will take some time. If you have a few scripts to, to test or if you have a few modifications to make, that will take a lot of time. So you can basically copy this and modify it as you will. And oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, modify it as you will and it will work as if you just had an interface for all 15 of those. So that is extremely useful uh, and extremely helpful. And all of these small details that you might be confused by, 
they are shown in here Trinity Core Wiki and creature template. Uh, the, the machine is a bit slow because of the compiling process in the background. I can actually show you how much it takes. It takes quite a bit. Um, <laughs> it is a demanding task. The better your PC is or your host, the, the less time it will take. So do keep that in mind. Uh, it should take about 100% of the CPU and quite a bit of RAM as well. Yeah, 100% CPU, 87% RAM. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot. So we go in here, creature template for 335. This actually takes a bit of RAM as well, so we can simply close it. <laughs> now, as you can see, the entry has to be unique. Uh, unique as in um, it, it cannot replicate itself. Like if we have a 40624, it cannot appear again. It has to be something unique, which is why I give it enough space so it can be 90,000 because no NPC on 335 is 90,000 so it is like really unique and all the other creatures I create from there will be plus one aka 90,001, 90,002, 90,003 and so on. So entry uh, that is done, uh, we don't need the rest of these, we need only model ID which is the morph, you can check the morph command in game and just any random number that you want uh it will basically decide what is the display of the creature in game we scroll down the red all these are irrelevant like they we don't really need them um faction faction and flag uh both are being listed in here one after another faction we want the creature to be friendly because if we have a script it means like if we have a gossip script which is what we implement in here it is a gossip script uh where can i show you uh creature script creature script um if we have this that means that this is a gossip script it's on gossip hello functionality on gossip select on gossip um menus and yeah but basically everything here uh, shows us gossip um, that means that we will, will we will want the creature to be friendly because to access oh you gotta be kidding me dude to access the um, the script we need the creature to be friendly because this way it actually lets us interact with creature if the creature is not friendly let's say faction 14 he is our enemy we cannot communicate with our enemy we can fight the enemy so this new page requires me to scroll down it might work it might not work just try your luck I try and it didn't really work so faction uh faction of creatures see faction template i will open it in a new uh new folder new uh new tab let's just hope this one works all right <clears throat> Yeah, content. This is what we need. This is what we we work with. Three, three, five. Uh, you can see all the faction uh, IDs 
and what we do here is friendly which is faction 35 if we want it to be uh, hostile we can do monster as in 14 and if we want it to be uh, attackable only when we attack it but non-aggression when we don't attack it there are many uh, f many factions for it you can explore all the options in here you can make it uh, horde friendly and alliance hostile and vice versa and you can see many um, many factions you can explore now within the creature template we can have NPC flag we want it to be gossip gossip as in we can actually see the menu that is being listed in it if we want it to be um, gossip and has a quest we simply need to add one and two up which is three but if we want it to be gossip and have a vendor in it we need it to be 129 because 128 plus one is 129 so for now we will not get overly complicated with this we simply want it to be gossip so we simply make it gossip so this is why it is faction 35 and uh, flag one we need it to be friendly and we need it to be uh, gossip. So I will pause the video until this one is back up. I can compile this as well to show you guys the error, but it, it's not really uh, relevant because it, it, it basically displays what I just said it will. Uh, next part, I will show you guys how it actually works in game and we will have lots of fun with it expanding upon this and creating something of our own by modifying it. So see you guys soon.